Here we have two Pikachus from, from different regions. One from New York, I think it's from Columbus University, and the other one's from uh, Azanidu Regular. I think Bark Sanchez, yeah, Bark Sanchez is the blue hat, no. Oh no, Bark Sanchez is the, the bare bones Pikachu. It's a solid edge guard on uh, Sunny B. Good retreating up there by Sonny B. That's a. Uh, that looked pretty funny when it hit Bark. Oh, I think I think he may be relying too much on those LPs. I get the feeling that Bark's gonna start reading those. Bark loves the C cancel and Sonny B just back throws him. Like, nah, you can't do it against me. You don't know me. Okay, Sonny B capitalizing off a single, a single hit, just making sure to tag on as much damage as possible. Throws him off. Forward air. Okay, good, good shield pressure. Out bears the shield and gets away so Bar can't punish it. Oh, he just lets him grab the ledge. Did that really just happen? Did he just do. Did he just get up, up smash? Pikachu datas are crazy. Even game between Sunny B and Bark. I didn't expect that. I actually expected Bark to uh, carry a lead here, but Sunny B showing that he can hold his own against uh, Danny Boo veterans. Sunny B keeping Bark off the state? Oh, no, wait. Yay! And just like his, and it's his match against Zeppelin, Sunny B is just like, controlling the center of the stage, throwing an out attack at Bark and making Bark run into them. And Bark gets a turnaround with the edge guard. Turns it around. Showing him that you not only need to beat him in the neutral game and do a lot of damage, but you need to capitalize. You need to clutch it out, get the stock. Single hit, shoot, takes the game, the uh, stock. Up tilt. Oh, the weak out smash! Bark is, Bark is supposed to be out of there. Oh, the clank. Oh. There's a lot of upbeats happening right now. The high percent, both knowing each knowing that whoever messes up first is gonna lose the stock. Sunny B, this could be it for Sunny B, he could just take the stock right now. But Bark turns it around. Bark's the one chasing Sunny B now. Oh, but they're just trading forward here. What is this madness? Oh, he misses the up smash. That should have been a back throw. Bark. Wow. It's surprising how even his Pikachu that it is. <laughs> it's so funny seeing Pikachu's play neutral by forward airing each other. So right now Bark is keeping Sunny B out of Dreamland, out of the center of Dreamland, just poking in with up airs. Sunny B forced to run away. Oh! Oh, Sunny B bits into the up tilt. Can he get it? Up tilt. Oh no! I think he could have landed a back here or a down or at least knock him more off stage for the extra damage. The clank, you don't want to, oh man. That's such an awkward thing when you clank with Pikachu's up tilt. Bark clutches it out, takes it, takes it on the last stock.
Yo, Brady boy, I'm pretty sure Malachi is trolling. Okay, so let's see if, uh, if Sonny B is able to learn from the previous game. And he tries to figure out ways to take Barkstock, Barkstock uh, earlier. Because it seems there's a lot, there a lot of times where he's able to hit Bark up to like 130% damage, but not able to land the kill. To uh, Mark might have been able to throw a back air into that instead of another up air. That might have been a better edge guarding option. Oh, Borg lets go of the ledge too early and just runs into that electric attack. Again, yeah, this is going to secure the kill for Bark. Sunny B showing that he can not only keep up with Bark in the neutral, but I'll play him severely as, as you saw from the first talk. But Bart just knows how to se how to secure the kills. That's that's really important, especially in a game in a matchup like this where it's not easy to get Pikachu. And now Bart's just taking advantage of the fact that Sunny B can't get back. Sunny B just wants to get back on Dreamland, run around, jump into the bushes. He just wants to run around and play. He wants the freedom. But Bart's like, no, you can't have that freedom. Look at that. Oh, but Sunny B. Sunny B trying to do the same to Park. Oh, man. Park just knows it. one of the opponents running for feet. Oh. That's a shame. Park hasn't, hasn't lost a single stock this game. And it shows that Park has learned from the previous game. Maybe, maybe he understands. That Tony B is oh with an uh, up tilt, up here a forward tilt. What is what am I watching? D dash attack. Okay. Ah, uh, it's very hard to say that this is gonna be a five stock because you get, oh my god. Mark, Mark does not approach Tony B from all the right angles. He's he, it seems to me like he's figuring him out. And and, and a matchup like Pigadettos. Sunny B finally takes his first stock. In a matchup like Sunny Pikachu, it's really hard to make a comeback because you can't get Pikachu. And it's kind of tricky to, to uh, combo Pikachu to death beyond outside of a few certain percentages. Almost lands the back area, chases him. Oh, it's down tilt twice on the shield. Whether that's safe or not, doesn't matter because Sunny B was turned around. Wait, wait. <laughs> wait, wait. What's up? Okay, uh, after that exchange, works up four to one. Uh, it's just rough. And even if Sunny B manages to do a four star comeback, that might be the only like oh, the only way he can take the uh, the third game, just by carrying the momentum of a four stock right now, the first four stock. But it's hard. It's hard. It's, uh, Bark's just like, come on, run into my tail, run into my tail, I dare you. Sonny like, nah. Denied. Oh, what is happening? Bark just lost his, he just suicided his last two stocks. He ruined the potential four stock, and there goes the JV. Oh, no. And, and that was a crucial play by Bark, punishing Sonny B. For um, Mark Sanchez wins by two. 